Hey everyone, happy Saturday. We have a hero workout to do today. It usually means a lot of volume um, and longer duration workouts. So, warm up's gonna be pretty quick, going through the movements uh, of the workout, and then we'll hop right in it. Um, one of my favorite CrossFit videos they ever published way back in the day was Miko Salo uh, and Graham Holmberg doing this workout. If I can find the link, uh, I'll post that at the top, so hopefully they'll let me share that. Um, otherwise, here's gonna be our uh, warm up. Round one, 200 meter jog. When you get back, 10 kettlebell deadlifts. Focus on hinging the hips and knees back. Followed by 10 box step ups, alternating feet. Followed by 10 mountain climber lunges. followed by 10 air squats. Then for round two, we're gonna go into the uh, workout movements. Round two is gonna be five reps of each. Uh, kettlebell swings. Recommend go maybe five Russians first, followed by five American swings. Followed by five box jumps. Standing up, opening the hips on top of each rep. Then burpees. And then finally, five wall balls. Those are gonna be all the movements we're doing in the workout. Witten is five rounds per time. We have, I believe, a 45 minute time cap for the class. It's 22 reps of each, 22 kettlebell swings, heavier kettlebells prescribed, 22 box jumps, a 400 meter run, 22 burpees, and 22 wall balls. I believe that's the correct order. Uh, it's a lot of volume, scale as appropriate. Shorten the runs to 200s instead of 400s. Cut back from 22 reps down to 15 reps of any movements that you need to. Scale the kettlebell swing from American to uh, Russian swings. Scale the box jumps to box step ups. Um, should be able to do the burpees and the run. Depending on what equipment you have, maybe you can sub out goblet thrusters instead of the wall balls, and single arm ground to overhead snatches, instead of the kettlebell swings, or even just go for that swing with the dumbbell.